start joking around at inappropriate times, and this could lead to a lot of problems. So the Gemara talks about it in a few different ways, about leitzanim, about people that make jokes. Now, it does say that anyone that's going to teach Torah, it's a good idea. It's not a must or anything. It's not a lacha, but it's a good idea to sometimes start a serious shiur Torah with a joke. It makes the crowd more comfortable, opens them up. I'm not very good at this. I'm not very good at jokes. Usually I'm good at jokes. and making fun of myself. But, uh, huh? Six weeks ago was the last joke. See, I'm not even counting how many jokes I have. I'm not good at jokes. Uh, I have to take uh, extra notes for jokes. But uh, as far as uh, I know that there's a couple of people that I know that love to joke around. There's one guy that I know, and uh, he invited me to do a couple of shiurim. And after a couple of shiurim, I decided that I'm never doing another shiur with this person again. And the reason why is because, and I also stopped inviting him to my shiurim. And the reason why is because he doesn't stop joking around. Now, as you obviously see, I'm, I'm a kind of a serious guy. I don't really like joking around too much, uh, especially when Gan Eden no Geyenom is on the line. So when someone is making a joke every five seconds, it's very annoying to me. Now, I didn't know at the time that this happened. This is already a few years ago that uh, the Gemara talks about this. So Rabbi Elazar says, Kol mitlotetz yesurin bain alav. It says, whoever scuffs Whoever jokes around at inappropriate times, not someone that's just a, uh, says a joke at an appropriate time, just to lighten up the mood. Someone that jokes around, let's say, in the middle of Shul Torah, you're talking to them about serious things, and he just makes fun of the uh, speaker. Says, ah, you look like this, or you do this, or just makes some type of jokes, wants the attention, wants the against, uh, attention of the room. Says, whoever scuffs brings on himself Isurim. Isurim is afflictions. From the verse, we learn this from a um, verse in Isaiah 28-22. So now do not scoff, lest your afflictions grow severe. This is one small thing. Another one, Rabbi Ketina, Rav Ketina says, Kol mezonotav mitma'atin. says, whoever is a scoffer, whoever is a guy that jokes around a little too much, his income diminishes. He loses money. Last month he was making 100000 a month. All of a sudden it dropped to 85000 It's not because of bad luck. It's because of that stupid joke you made in the middle of the Shield Torah. Shereimah, mashach yado et lo The verse says in um, uh, the prophet Ogea, chapter 7, verse 5, God withdraws his hand from the scuffers. Those people like to make jokes. He takes away their panasa. Tries to give them a wake-up call. Resh Lakish says, Kol HaMitlotetz Nofel BeGeinom. Says, the guy that makes these jokes goes to Geinom. So, the question is, why all these harsh things? It's a little serious. We learned already here, Rabbi Dosa is already serious. These people are even more serious. Okay, I just made a joke. Why am I going to Geinom? Getting Yisurim, getting sick, losing money, goes even worse. Rabbi Tanchum says, Bar uh, Chanchinai says, Kol HaMitlotetz Gorem Kilaya La'olam Whoever scuffs causes to ruin the world. It gets worse and worse in this Gemara. Rabbi Elezar ben Arkinos says, Rabbi Elezar ben Arkinos says, It's very difficult for someone that's a uh, joker. Why? Shetchila Yisurim Vesofo Kilaya since the beginning of his punishment is afflictions, getting difficulties in his life, but the culmination is ruin, meaning eternal genom. This is a harsh punishment for what? A joke? Come on, no? You guys are a little ultra orthodox here. What's going on? So, what's going on? It says, you have to know when to joke. If you're just hanging out with a few guys, you're hanging out, you're having dinner, you're having fun time, you and your wife are just talking, and you want to throw a joke, no problem. Enjoy the joke, laugh, it's good to laugh, it's healthy to laugh. It's actually even scientifically proven if you actually force yourself to smile for 20 minutes in a row, it improves your mood. It improves your mood. It's not going to take you out of depression by any stretch of the imagination, only because depression is a 
spiritual state of mind. It's not a physical state of mind, but it can help you. Forcing yourself to smile for 20 minutes straight will help you. But there's a time and a place for that. If you're joking with you and your wife, you and your husband, you and a couple of friends at an appropriate time, no problem, enjoy. But if it's during a meeting with the board of directors that's considering whether they're going to declare bankruptcy tomorrow or today, and you throw a joke, you're not a good guy to have on the job. If your wife just told you we don't have any food to feed the kids and you throw a joke, you're not, you're not saying it the right time. If someone bummed me now just said I'm sick, I have husband shalom, they have cancer, and you threw a joke, it's not the right time to throw the joke. If someone's trying to tell you the entrance the directions to the entrance to Gan Eden and the directions to the entrance to Gainum. He's trying to teach you which way to go, which way not to go. You follow Torah and Mitzvot, Gan Eden. You don't follow, Shem Rachim. There's only two options, there's no middle. And in the middle of him telling you, you do this, you go to Gan Eden. You do that, no good. You throw a joke, it's not the right time. Why is it not the right time? Because if we have a serious Yotoram, people are into it. People get tense. People are thinking if, if it's a good, if someone's a good speaker, a good rabbi, people are already thinking to themselves while he's speaking, what can I do to fix me? Oh, that I can do. No, that I can't. That's too much for me. That I can do. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That means fine. I tell you that. I'm going to do that one. Tomorrow, he's already thinking to himself, tomorrow I'm going to start doing Nekla Design. Tomorrow I'm going to do Tefillin. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up early. Tomorrow, I'm gonna, He's already planning in his head tomorrow. He's already getting ready to fix because he's connecting to what the speaker said from read, what he read in the Torah. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm getting into it. He's, he's getting hot. He's excited. You throw a joke, it's like you threw cold water, water on fire. All of a sudden, he forgot about all the promises he made. All of a sudden, he's too busy laughing at the joke. All of a sudden, his tshuva goes into the garbage. And tomorrow, he goes back to waking up at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You just caused the person to not do tshuva. And by getting in the way of somebody doing tshuva, you ruin the world. Because the world was created for him. For him to do tshuva, the whole world, the heaven, the stars, the land, the moon, the, everything was created for him. Now he's not perfect yet. He has to perfect himself. He has to do tshuva. So the whole world was created and will culminate when he does tshuva. You just ruined it with your stupid joke. You just ruined the world. And you expect not to get punished.